He will focus on inflation and types of inflation. And the general definition for inflation is here. It's the general rise in price level P. And the inflation rate, which uh, we symbolize pi, is equal to the new price minus the old price over the old price. Now, types of inflation is uh, pretty much when price for when price rises. There are two types of uh, no, actually there are like three types of uh, inflation, and I'll go over them one by one. Now, the first type of inflation is demand inflation, and demand inflation is when the average demand moves right when AD moves right moves right. And this will cause uh, two, uh, one of two things to happen. It will cause our aggregate expenditure to rise or our marginal propensity to spend to rise, which is Z to rise. And this uh, reflected in our graph would look like the following. We just move our AD to the right. And this becomes AD2 and our prices rose. P2. Now for supply inflation, it's pretty much the same as demand inflation except some different things happen. It's when the AS moves right, when AS or when the AS moves left, not right, but left, when AS moves left. And when AS moves left, two, uh, two, one of two things happen, the factor prices uh, increase or the factor supply decrease. In, in all cases, uh, productivity decreases because if your factor prices increase, then pretty much you're making less. If your factor supply decreases, then uh, you're making less, then pretty much your productivity would decrease. Now in this case, aggregate supplies move less. So we move our aggregate supply left, AS2. And our new price is again higher because of this inflation uh, occurrence. And the last, the last type of inflation that I'm gonna talk about is expectation inflation. And pretty much expectation inflation, well, let me just tell you what will happen. Uh, in expectation inflation, the, the aggregate supply moves left moves left due to uh, people's expectation people's expectation of inflation so people are expecting inflation and that's what causes the aggregate supply to move left and pretty much what happens is people expect inf uh, inflation. They expect inflation. And then this leads them to ask for higher wages. Ask for higher wages. Higher wages. And when we ask for higher wages, uh, what actually happens is we increase our factor prices because it costs more to uh, to to get the inputs now than before now that you're asking for higher wages and this causes uh, factor supply to fall maybe your employers can can uh, give you the higher wages so they have to let you go so or so your factor supply not FP but your factor supply falls and this is essentially now supply inflation the one these two things happen and so uh, productivity falls and AS moves left and this will cause our graph to pretty much uh, behave the same way as supply inflation. So our, P, our P1 rises to P2 and our AS moves left. So the gist of the, the, gist of the story is that in this case the people cause what they fear. Cause what they fear. They were expecting inflation, and it wouldn't have happened if they uh, didn't ask for more wages. So people caused what they feared. And 
Now I'm going to give you the formula for inflation. So the general formula for inflation is pretty much we add all the infl all the types of inflation that we just went through. So we take demand inflation uh, plus supply inflation. Plus expectation inflation and we add them all up so we add up demand inflation supply inflation and expectation inflation to get uh, our inflation and that's the formula for inflation and this is all I want to go through for this video please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you in the